approaching uh, lunar sunrise. And uh, for all the people back on Earth, the crew of Apollo 8 has a message that we would like to send to you. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the Earth. And the Earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light. They was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. Let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament. And divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered in together into one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. God saw that it was good. And from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night, good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you. All of you on the good earth. Let's go back to the Bible. <clears throat> um, whose idea, where did that come from for you, you yeah, three, yeah, you and Bill? It's a good thing. I think Frank could probably really tell more about exactly how we read the, uh, uh, the first ten verses. As one of the geniuses of NASA, one of the things that I thought was unusual again about this organization, we were told about six weeks before the flight that we were going to have a television uh, program around while we're going around the moon that would probably have the largest audience that had ever listened to a human voice. And, uh, and you know, we were all up to our ears and trying to figure out how to, what we we're going to do. And so I asked uh, Julian Shear, who was head of PR, I said, what do you want us to do? And the only answer we got was something appropriate. He said, do something appropriate. Uh -huh. Can you imagine that happening today? Huh? <laughs> and so uh, we were busy and uh, we all tried to come up with something and that it all ended up seeming trite to us. So I had a good friend in Washington, uh, Cy Borg, and I called him up and I said, Cy, you got to help us. Uh, he, he had worked for Newsweek and he was a wonderful man. And, and he tried to come up and he couldn't. So he finally passed it off to a friend, Joe Leighton, I believe it was. And, uh, and he, he was a long time writer. He couldn't come up with either. But finally his wife, who had been raised in, the, in a convent in uh, France and was a French resistance writer, came down after He'd been making uh, attempts all night, and he, she said, well, why don't you start at the beginning? And he said, where? And she said, Genesis in the Bible, and that's how it happened. Incidentally, incidentally, we never, we never got that. We didn't clear it. We didn't win. I don't think, I don't think you guys even knew what we were going to say. That, that was, a, that was wow. a genius of this country. It was wonderful. Wow. One more little tidbit on this. After we did that, uh, we got back, we were sued uh, for combining uh, government and <laughs> so, uh, and so uh, but uh, we were, uh, had a talk at the uh, at Congress with a joint venture, uh, and we mentioned that, and the Supreme Court justices were down there, and they said, don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
We got Madeline, Madeline Murray O'Hare that sued, right? Wait, uh, Jim, uh, wasn't that uh, Frank? Madeline Murray O'Hare, right? Yeah, yeah, Madeline, yeah. Madeline Murray O'Hare.